The amount of training that you do leading up until that point is what you go into the fight with. No one gives a fuck if you're not ready. It all comes down to training. If you suck, you suck. If you dress up a pig, it's still a pig. Mm, they're just words, Nettie. Words can't hurt you. We'll see. There is one thing that I had here that Lucas didn't have, and it's you guys. I asked you guys for training tips, for technique tips, and you gave me some killer, killer tips to beat Lucas Bodkin. Is it enough? We'll see. And if it's not enough, I promise you guys I would do a an epic sets of push-ups and a one, two, three, four exercise drill as penance, as a thrashing that Lucas actually is impossible for me to beat. And I am bowing to his greatness. Hey guys, Mike at the Pineland Barn again, and we are doing the part two of the Lucas Bikin 1234 transition drill, where he got his first set was 2.96. His second set was 2.75 and his third set was 2.75. So he had all three sets under three seconds and only did three sets. That was spectacular. And my goal is to get three sets today all under three seconds or at least average out under three seconds. And that would be a spectacular achievement. Now I'll tell you what, I have used a couple of your tips to get better. I've only had, I've only used, done this with one hour of dry fire. Usually I do two, but I kind of got cramped on time and only did one hour of dry fire, but I have this special little tool that I use called the Mantis Blackbeard. I'm not promoting this. I don't get any uh, credit for this. I don't know these guys at all. I just heard from you guys that this is a great tool to use. I use it in my dry fire practice and I think, I think it made a big difference. So we will see if it made a big difference. Make sure you subscribe. Dry fire practice is spectacular and it costs nothing. The dry fire video, the follow up dry fire video on this, the practice video, how to practice, will have a more in-depth review of my gear, but I want to tell you really quickly, I want to introduce you to the Mantis Blackbeard system. I don't get paid by these guys. There's no relationship with them, but I do want to tell you that I think it made a pretty significant difference. So I want to show you how quickly it is and easy it is to set it up. I'll do a more exhaustive review of the gear in the dry fire section. But the things that I love about this, one is the um, is the trigger, the trigger pull. It's about two and a half pound pull. Really, really crisp trigger pull. And uh, even nicer, even nicer with the new Mantis. So nice to not have to keep resetting the trigger. And get some real reps in there and I can actually, I think there's a, some advantage in accuracy as well because the laser will tell you where you're pulling. Uh, and that helped me get more control as well. Uh, so let's set it up real quickly and show you how easy this is to set up with the Mantis. First thing I'm gonna do is just take out the uh, bolt carrier group and the charging handle and replace it. with the Mantis system. There's the their version of the bolt carrier group. Just slides right in. And then the magazine is the battery. Now it will not shut. Here's what's interesting. If you guys never used this before, it's not gonna shut until you set the hammer back and then it'll shut. You can drop the um, pin and then, and that is it. That's all there is to it. That now it's set up 
and it is going to keep on, it's going to continue to, to reset the trigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it up one. Great, great reps this way. I love the way this works on reps. And on the wall there, you can't see it from here, but you can see it if I do it here. There it is. So really helpful in me understanding where am I, where I'm pulling the trigger. So I wanted to just show you that before we get the rest of the uh, bit, go on to the rest of the video. Respectable 298. That's one under three. Uh, 1A, 1C over there, just on line. Uh, 4A is 1C here. And I got 1A, 1C, but that was a good set. 298, good set. Point nine oh. Two point nine oh. Uh, two A's, two C's, and a D. Two C's here. These are good. All three A's. One, two, three. Now I gotta see it, make sure they're all in. If they're all in, that's a pretty good time. That just felt faster. Two A's, two A's and three C's. Not bad, two A's and three C's here. Not bad. Three A, uh, two A's here, that's good. Two A's, good. Now let's see, that's one. Um, one C, and that is just outside the line. That's two C's, but that's good. That's a good set. First shot was a point three two. Second with the transition was a point four eight. Third shot on the second target was a point one five. Then another transition at point four nine, and then a second shot and third shot at a point one six and a point one four, and then another transition to the final target at a 0 0.41, and then a 0 0.17, 0 0.17, 0 0.14, for a total of a 2.63. All right, I think that's a good standard for me to shoot for from now on. I like to keep my videos really tight and high value for you, so I separated out the dry fire practice here into a separate video. Make sure that you subscribe so you get that, because that is really where the rubber hits the road. You learn it in dry fire. I learn it in my basement. I learn it without firing a single shot. You know, it's appropriate that I'm still slower than Lucas's three set in a row average, even if only by one one hundredth of a second. In my family, we call that God winking. It's usually a happy circumstance that instructs us. This is saying nice work, but the game is done. I still would like to see Lucas give more intermediate to advanced pointers when he's doing his drill work. Instead of just lightning fast, ping, ping, ping. That's really cool, but ultimately it doesn't prepare us for anything. All right, guys, we did it. We did it. We've got three sets under three seconds. I am amazed because Lucas Bakken is a rock star at this exercise. He had a 2.96, a 2.75, and a 2.75. I turned around and did only three sets today and I had a 2.98, a 2.90, and a 2.63. And the average, here's, here's the amazing part of this, the average between me and him was, he's still faster by one hundredth of a, of, of a second. Now, I will tell you right now, he is a lot faster than me in so many different ways. This is just one exercise. He could do this with a hundred different exercises and I'd still be chasing Lucas Bakken for a while and that's what I want to do. And I want you guys to go with me. I want you guys to go with me on this journey 
So I want you guys to start dry fire practicing. Dry fire practice the way I do and you will get some results that you cannot believe. I will tell you, I got two people that I want to do a shout out for. The person who gave me the Blackbeard Mantis technique, the tip was great. Um, it's 200 bucks, about 200 bucks. I don't rep these guys, I don't promote these guys, I don't get anything for this. Uh, but I am so amazed with the results that I got in this, um, in this exercise that I'm happy to tell, give these guys kudos. The second person was just some technique tips that I was given. So both of you guys, I'll send you either a Pinelander patch a t-shirt or a hat. Stay tuned and watch for the dry fire practice on this exercise because it's really spectacular stuff, guys. Be sure you subscribe and be on the lookout for the dry fire practice videos for the Lucas Bodkin 1234 transition part two. I came out here, fired three sets, only three sets, and I got my goal right away. And you guys can do it too. And I wanna see you guys do this because it is a spectacular feeling. Come back for the dry fire practice because that is where the rubber hits the road. It's where you guys will learn how to become much better, much faster than ever before. Train smart, live free. Watch for the Botkin 1234 Transition Push-Up Challenge coming soon.